All right, we're here with Peter, and uh, he's actually back from the Global Association of Independent Advisors annual meeting. Is that right? That's right, Daniel. And yep. uh, he's going to give us a few words about uh, what they did there and what he learned and what's in the future for Gaia. All right, Peter, so uh, firstly, uh, can you explain what Gaia is and uh, why, why it's important? Well, Gaia is actually an international association that's headquartered in Geneva. It's currently uh, a group of 21 uh, wealth management and financial advisory firms from four continents across the globe. And uh, I was fortunate enough in 2014 to be elected the inaugural chairman of Gaia, uh, a role which I've actually just handed over to a good friend, Jeff Buckner from PlanCorp. Uh, he's from St. Louis, Missouri in the United States. I feel like it needs to be underlined, and, and we're not looking to blow our own trumpet here, but this is a group of world-class advice businesses, and we're actually a part of that. So here in regional Tasmania is an advice business operating at the forefront of financial advice standards. And, you know, we're setting the fiduciary standards um, that are probably going to, you know, drive financial advice around the world, and we're actually a part of that from Tasmania. Absolutely. Uh, I'm extremely proud of the fact that we are uh, recognised as, as running running a global Bex practice firm from the northwest of Tasmania. The, the Gaia Group uh, was formed by a, a number of firms across the, uh, the globe, as I said, and all of them pursue global best practice, and all of them are genuine investment fiduciaries who act solely in the interest of their clients. Each of our firms have been internationally certified by the Centre for Fiduciary Excellence in Pittsburgh in the United States and we all operate free from conflicts on behalf of our clients. The group effectively gets together each year and indeed we hold quarterly video uh, conference calls and, and our goal is really to continue to learn from each other to share best practice and to collaborate so that in fact all of us deliver better and more reliable outcomes for our clients on an ongoing basis. All right, so can you just uh, take us through what um, happened at the at the most recent meeting and uh, give us a rundown on that? Sure, Daniel. Yeah, we met uh, at Oxford University in the United Kingdom, which was exciting in itself. Uh, the uh, venue obviously is, a, is steeped in tradition. It, it's been the home of learning in the uh, United Kingdom for over 800 years. At that meeting, uh, we were uh, fortunate to uh, induct three new uh, provisional members into the group. Uh, but on the learning side of things, we had uh, a presentation by a global leading expert in cyber security, which uh, certainly put all of us on notice as the risks that we have to manage on behalf of our clients in that regard. Uh, we had an eminent psychologist uh, work with us on how to use appropriate psychometric testing to build cohesive and reliable teams within our respective businesses. Uh, we had an awesome presentation on intergenerational wealth transfer uh, where people are responsible for stewarding assets that have been built up within families onto the next generations and the generations after them. Uh, we also had a presentation on big data and the influence of artificial intelligence on the financial advice and wealth management industry into the future and there's certainly a lot to look forward to in that space and it's certainly an avenue that we are investigating and indeed have commenced a project for our own business here in Burnie and we also had a fabulous presentation on the influence of technology on the political landscape globally into the future and of course amongst the 21 firms um, founders and indeed a couple of other firm shareholders uh, we were able to uh, undertake some pretty amazing sharing of personal experiences, stories and methods that are being used to get clients better outcomes. And, and I guess the final thing that, that really does make me smile is that the group actually voted that we would hold our 2019 meeting here in Australia and that certainly made all of the Australasian members very, very excited. <laughs> You've probably just taken the uh, next question right out of my mouth. <laughs> I was about to say, what, what, what's coming next? Um, well, look, we will meet here in Australia, and uh, it will be great to uh, host our international colleagues down here. Uh, but certainly, the uh, topics that were central to the Oxford meeting, I have no doubt that they'll remain central to uh, our meeting here in Australia. Uh, Technology is going to be a massive uh, 
influence on our future, both as, as a business service provider to our clients and indeed to the clients themselves. Um, the way in which we manage teams will always be a, a key issue for each of the business owners and of course the way in which uh, big data and artificial intelligence is going to influence co consumer behaviour into the future is something that we've got to continue to focus on. So that plus of course all the normal things like investment theory, the latest investment research and the like, uh, they'll definitely be on our agenda. Uh, April. So I guess the final question is, is there any prospect of communications people uh, like myself needing to go around uh, other guy members? <laughs> <laughs> to be truthful, Daniel, I think the answer is yes. Uh, in fact, one of the firms uh, that uh, is based in Toronto in Canada have had incredible success with social media. Uh, in fact, uh, the founder describes their um, arrivals of new clients as like drinking from a fire hydrant. And they actually put all of that success down to their social media program. So quite simply, I think the answer is going to be yes. I think collaboration amongst the communications professionals within each of our businesses is definitely definitely something that's going to uh, grow into the future. All right. Sounds exciting for myself and exciting for everyone else. Indeed. It was an exciting time and uh, certainly when the group gets together, it's always exciting. All right.